Well, it's about... I don't know, it's not too late. One... What is it? 1.50 in the morning. And um, I just got done doing this <laughs> funny piece. Um, it's uh, a friend of mine in radio. He needed, he's doing this like funny skit about, um, <clears throat> I don't know, whatever. And he needed someone to do like a sexy voice, blah, blah, blah. So I apparently do those things. I can make a sexy voice. And uh, I don't know, people sometimes say when they call my cell phone, <laughs> it kind of sounds like that. But um, yeah, so he gave me a bunch of things to say and I just did that on my Pro Tools so he can use for the bit. Um, I, <laughs> I just turned off my... <laughs> I just turned off my lamp by accident. <laughs> anyway, well, uh, God damn it again. <laughs> They're touch lamps, so I'm like trying to keep the camera that way, whatever. Anyway, so yeah, a friend of mine, Gemma, thought it would be very cool for me to, or thought it would be funny, I don't know about cool, for me to, um, log it. Now I finished, but maybe I'll put some of it under, like I can add the, the blog, I can add it in after, but hey, let me show you my stuff. I brought my rig, it's what I, my Pro Tools rig, I brought it into bed with me because I thought it would give me more inspiration <laughs> to be sexy. I had to be, I don't know, the things I had to say it was, it's funny. You know, at first, you know, at first I get embarrassed a little bit. And, um, but then, ugh, these curls, they're very unruly. But once you get over it, I don't know, it just becomes like a, I don't know, it just becomes like a guitar part, I guess, after a while. And just listen, and, uh, after the, uh, embarrassing factor of listening to myself talk so dirty, or sound dirty more, so it's more the sound, not the words, so to speak. Um, once I get over that, then it was, it's all fun, so... Anyway, yeah, take a look. I brought my stuff to bed with me. My laptop. Right now, that's my space. I've been chatting back and forth with my good friend Gemma. Oh, where is she? Let's see. Yeah, I think she went to bed, so. That's her space. I like her pictures are the coolest. This is what you get, Jam, for asking me to put this on a, what do you call it, blo video blog. Now I'm putting you on the video blog. She takes really cool friggin' pictures. Like she does all these crazy self photography thingies. Well, the story behind this lady. It's very interesting, actually. There she is. Cool stuff. Very cool stuff. Um, so, the, this is a sweet picture. It's weird. The two faces are almost different, but pretty cool. Um, so, the Funniest, well, the coolest thing about I'm trying to go through her pictures, Gemma, is this is sweet. Hot business lady. Um, really, she was a major inspiration for me to start music. You know, I knew I'd eventually tell the story, but there are my shoes. You see these shoes? They're mine, and I don't know when she's going to give them back to me. Ah. Uh, yeah, baby. All right, mine back. Gemma, want them back ASAP. Um. Anyway, so yeah. The thing, the cool thing about um. What do you call it? What is this? Why is this saying this? Get out of here. Uh, the cool thing with Gemma is that um. Really, she's the one that inspired me to like go get a guitar and and. 
and teach myself to play and start because let me tell you why. Um, we were at a party one day and she threw on the PJ Harvey Rid of Me album. And I've never heard PJ Harvey before. I mean, I've always wanted to sing in a band and do this and do that, blah, blah, blah. I sang my whole life, you know, but I was going to college and whatever. So she, so this chick that I just meet, like I, I only had known her for a little bit, throws on PJ Harvey rid of me and then does this like performance for us, like just starts singing it and like, like almost like she was on stage, but like maybe like, you know, like lip syncing to PJ Harvey. And I don't know, it just, the whole thing besides just The Rid of Me is like one of my favorite albums ever and PJ Harvey is just the ultimate. But I guess the intensity of her performance, just like, whoa. And I was like, all right, what is this? Who is this? And you know, she showed me the album and the next day I went out and bought the album and, uh, and then also went to a garage sale and bought, her, bought a, an acoustic guitar and that was it. That was it for me. And I just started teaching myself. So uh, it's weird. We have a very cool connection, uh, Gemma and I, because, you know, she, I guess, fully pulled out that part of me that I've always wanted to like what I wanted to do. So, you know, she knows that, though, so it's pretty cool. But um, anyway... So I will uh, let you hear some of the uh, porn voiceover I had to do. <laughs> it was all a joke, too. It was a fun joke. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go to bed because I'm exhausted, obviously, as you can see. But yeah, I will talk to you soon. Enjoy. Have a good night. Bye. Oh, burlap. Ah. Uh.